In this video, I want to show you how to provide internet accessibility or access to devices that are within an AWS subnet. So in my particular case, I have a VPC in my environment called Websites Production 2. And within this VPC, I have two brand new subnets. And neither one of these subnets can send traffic outside of themselves. Uh, they can only send traffic within the VPC and within this IP address range. What I need to do to provide internet access is I need to attach an internet gateway or an internet accessibility service to my overall VPC, and then I need to update the routing table to prov provide a path from my subnet out to the internet. Otherwise, uh, the traffic that's generated within uh, one of my subnets can only visit other IP addresses that are within this address space right here. So for this particular VPC, it ends in 6D. I'm going to go over to subnets and look for the ones that end in 6D. These are two subnets that I have created, and they just have the default settings right now. If I go ahead and click on this, uh, I see that they are associated with a route table. And if I open up this route table I, and I go to routes, I see that any devices that are within this particular subnet can only send traffic to these IP addresses. Anything that's not within this IP address range, like things on the general internet, that traffic will be thrown away. So if one of my EC2 instances is trying to check something in my code repository on GitHub, it can't get there. It doesn't have a physical path to get there um, with this current restriction. So I need to edit the routes and I need to add the ability to get out to the internet from within my network. So one of the first things I'm going to do is go over here to internet gateways and I will create a new internet gateway, which is an intermediary service between my network and the regular internet. So I'll call this websites um, production. And I can't really spell, but I'll try that a second time. And I'll click uh, create internet gateway. Okay, so this device exists or this service exists, but I need to attach it to my VPC before it's usable. Right now it's detached. So I click either there or right here, attach to VPC, select a VPC, and I'm going to select the website's production to network and click attach. Okay, now that this has been done, I can go back to one of my subnets. Um, and then the, well, I, I'm kind of going roundabout here. Uh, you saw me earlier go to my subnet and then click on this particular routing table. And the subnet, uh, the routing table that's associated with the subnet uh, is the traffic pathway that, that uh, traffic can be sent to. So I'm going to click on add a route and I'm going to say this first option, which is a wild card. What this means is right here, traffic currently can only be sent to anything in this address range. Uh, this is a wild card meaning anything else. So if it's not, if the traffic is not within this range, any other traffic is going to be sent to one of the options listed here. And I'm going to go down and click Internet Gateway. And it pulls up the Internet Gateway that I have associated with my VPC. I click that. I click Save Changes. And at this point, it's now possible for one of the devices within one of these subnets, if I were to spin up an EC2 instance, it could communicate with the outside world through this route table. This route table currently says any traffic within this IP address range is going to get delivered to the local VPC, and anything else is going to get sent out through this network service. 